Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Faris Al Hajri, PhD AM. Oh, we'll be explaining to you about uh, the calories in relation to hot water. So, what is a calorie actually? A calorie is you find that everything that we talk about the hot water therapy, you find everything in a biology, in human health, hot water is uh, uh, involved. Uh, hot water is. Uh, the missing factor so we'll explain to you what, what is a calorie everybody knows that uh, we need to burn calories more than what we consume that uh, approximately we consume uh, 1300 to 1500 calorie uh, for men is 1500 women 1300 so we need to burn uh, if we burn we need to burn we consume more than 1300 or 1500 calories per day that's the problem so we need to burn more calories so everybody knows that we need to do exercise, to do workout, we need to uh, eat uh, food uh, rich in protein and uh, with uh, less calories. So everybody who is a very health conscious person, he's a very uh, involved to find, to, to, to make sure that he is uh, in taking less calories or burning more calories. So what is a calorie actually? A calorie is, uh, you find that uh, uh, scientifically, a calorie you try to concentrate with me here, you find that hot water is involved there. A calorie is actual, a calorie is uh, the energy our body needs while raising the temperature of uh, one uh, gram uh, water from 14.5 degrees Celsius to 15.5 degrees Celsius. That is a calorie. So what happened here, when you do exercise, you burn calories, you're sweating. So every, the more you sweat, the more you burn calories. The more exercise you do, the more you burn calories. So what is that? Is that our blood, our blood plasma is 92% water. So what happened here? When you do a exercise, you do workout, or when you eat food rich in protein, so the metabolism system will be speeding up, will be speed up to uh, turn the food that you took, you uh, it, it is being digested through the enzyme system into uh, energy the uh, the body needs. We'll be talking about food in relation to uh, hot water, in relation to food uh, that can substitute. Uh, so, uh, so if you do exercise, you burn calorie. Now, what happens is that uh, exercise, walk, body workout is going to be something is completely changing is that you do exercise everybody has uh, many reasons to give the, oh because I'm traveling or because I lost my workout because I got busy and so on so everybody keep on uh, giving different reasons is that because uh, today the world is getting a busier world everybody think about material everybody think to make money to make uh, ambition to achieve and so on so the question is that when you do exercise are we able to continue our workout body workout okay Right, fine. If we continue our body workout, the other question is that, what is the impact of uh, over exercising, over using our body to work out? Is that we go into dehydration? So is that the blood plasma that is represented by, uh, I mean, water and the the ninety two percent water, is that the temperature of the blood plasma, the I mean, the blood of our human body is thirty. 80 degrees Celsius. So when you do exercise, you induce what you call thermogenesis, or you induce uh, heat into your body. So you, everybody knows the, the law of the thermodynamics, that the energy shifted from a hot body into a cold body and to cause equilibrium. So when you do workout, your blood plasma getting hotter, so it runs faster in your body, in the veins and arteries, and then will cause vasodilation or dilation of the blood veins. So with that, the energy will flow easily into your organs, into your body organs, into your cells to produce, uh, to provide the energy it needs and also oxygen that the body needs, plus, plus other benefits, nutrition and so on. Right. Now when you do, when you take your hot water, that when we talk about the whole water that is 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit, that is immediately, naturally, your body will start to get that energy into your body through the thermodynamics or we say, uh, through the thermogenesis, inducing the energy from the hot 
water into your body. At the same time, you are hydrating your cells. So you do not go into problem of dehydration. This is about uh, uh, hot water in relation to burning calories. So enjoy your body exercise, your body workout, but keep up with your hot water therapy. Keep taking your daily intake of hot water. That is about uh, three liters every day. Of course, there is a program for that, which we already uh, posted a clip on that, the methods of drinking hot water. And hot water therapy, or hydrothermal therapy, or aqualidum therapy, is actually a method of drinking hot water is just one method, but you, there are other methods that we hope we can explain later on uh, with other video clips. Uh, so keep up. And uh, I wish everybody a good uh, healthy living, wellness, and uh, to achieve your ambitions. Thank you.